Hi hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Tan. If it's your first time here, hey girl, hey. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thanks for coming back. So in today's video, we have a unit that was sent over from Ebony Line. The unit that we have is from Outre. It's from their Big Beautiful Hair Collection. It's a U-part leave-out wig. I got it in the style Afro Curls 16 and in the color Jet Black. So, if you want to find out my thoughts and opinions on her, see her in action, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about this unit from Outre. The cap construction, well, it's not your typical cap construction. It is a U part. So it has four combs in total with two additional clip combs. The combs are located at the back, two on the side, one in the middle, and then the clip combs are on the side in the front of the unit. It also has adjustable straps, and again, because it is a U-part wig, it has the cutout at the top. Now on the stock card, it doesn't really have any special features or anything like that. It just says that it's a U-part cap for leave out. It does say that it's 100% human hair premium blended. So of course it's a synthetic unit, but it's supposed to be human hair blended, I guess. Um, the one thing that did stick out was that it has a bacterial resistance cap, and I guess that's supposed to help slow down the growth of odor causing bacteria and promotes a healthy scalp. The curls on this unit look to be about 4A, 4B. I wouldn't consider it a 4C because to me 4C curls are extremely, extremely coiled. And these, they're coils but they're not the tight coils if you know what I mean. The hair feels extremely soft and I would say as far as the cap construction goes or the cap sizing goes, it could fit on any head because of the U-part opening. I actually have a lot of space in the back because I didn't put the unit directly on top or in the front of my hair. It's actually kind of clipped in right here. So it's about an inch back. So there's plenty, plenty of space for anybody's head. So let's go ahead and move into my pros and cons regarding this unit. Of course, starting with the cons first. And my first con would probably have to be the coloring. Now, it's not a bad thing, but it's not a great thing for me. Maybe had I picked up a 1B or a 2, the color of the hair would have blended in better with my coloring. But I don't know. To me, I just feel like the jet black on this makes it look too synthetic. My next con on this unit would have to be the curls. Now, let me say this, I do like the curls. I just wish that it was more of a 4B, 4C, and 4A curl texture all mixed into one because then I feel like the unit could be more universal for everybody on this spectrum of the hair spectrum. My last con on this unit would have to be the fact that she is a U part. Now, I'm pretty sure you're looking at the screen like, what was the point of me even picking out the unit if I knew that she was a U-part? I didn't pay attention to the fact that she was a U-part, number one. Number two, I'm glad I got the opportunity to try a U-part because now I realize they are not for me. I am one who appreciates a full wig and I don't want any of my hair out. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I tend to leave my twist up for two, three, possibly even a whole month. and. I don't know it's just like knowing that I have to take out my hair to mix in with the unit in order for me to wear it I don't know I just that's not sitting right with myself <laughs> which now brings me into my pros regarding this unit and the first pro would be that she is definitely beginner friendly if you are someone who doesn't want to have to melt down your lace and cut lace and things like that you don't have to worry about that with this unit the only thing you have to worry about cutting if you choose to cut it off are the two clear strings that were at the top now personally i ended up cutting them off because it just wasn't sitting right and wasn't making sense to me why they were on there but i could understand if somebody had shorter hair for example that would be an easy way for them to keep the unit together and not have to worry about blending too much hair in with the unit. 
My next pro on this unit would be that she has the potential to look like your actual hair. As long as you have this texture or this curl pattern rather and also as long as you make sure that you get a color that's close to your hair color. My next pro on this unit would definitely have to be the density on her. She looks extremely full and dense but she's actually super lightweight which makes me feel like she could be worn year round. And all I do think the unit is cute. Yeah the more I wear her the more she is growing on me. Like I don't know I could see myself wearing this out in public and everything. So if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe before you leave and also make sure you click the bell that way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow me on Instagram. It is at Tan Dodson. My TikTok is also at Tan Dodson. Huge shout out, huge thank you again to EbonyLine.com for sending over this unit. It is much appreciated. I will make sure that I have a direct link to her in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Leave me a comment down below. Have you tried a U part? How do you feel about U parts? Mm, girl, let me know. Please let me know.